Okay, we're gonna put some uh, drive horn anchors on today. This is our uh, our rail here. We broke at curve 11, and I'll put a link in the description so that you can go watch those videos. All righty. Show you how this is done. Sometimes they go on pretty easy. Sometimes they don't. Nice. Nice. Okay, very good. All right. Okay. The, uh, we're going to take a little break and we'll be right back. Okay, well, if you're wondering what I was doing when I was tapping them this way, the uh, secret to having effective anchors work the way they're supposed to work is to have them right up against the tie. So sometimes they're a little off. Then you got to drive them in to get them up close to the tie. They don't work very effective if they're out here. <laughs> that, that allows this. This helps the uh, the tie to hold in there, keep the tie from moving. The anchors themselves don't prevent uh, the rail creep in and of itself. It's the uh, the resistance that is created by the the ties and the ballast. It's all packed in here so that uh, when that rail tries to creep then the anchors good anchors are going to uh, hold tight against the rail and get that rail into this tie so the rails want to push the tie up against all of this ballast here which is a considerable amount of resistance also I wanted to tell you I had made a video a long time ago on rail anchors and uh, I'm going to have a video coming out sometime that explains all about rail creep. But I had made that video on the different types of uh, anchors and a little bit about how I, we, a little bit about them too. I didn't do a real good job in that video of explaining how they actually work. So I'll put a link in the description to that video so you can go watch all about rail anchors. All right. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, because show's not over yet. <laughs>
Well, while I'm here, I wanted to show you. This is the bag that they come in. Alrighty. And... These came from Lewis Bolt and Knack Company, La Junta, Colorado. There are 50 anchors in a bag, weighs 106 pounds. Well, sometimes this phone does that. When you get a little too close, it blurs everything out. Okay, there you have it. But we'll get a little creative here with the camera angles. See how that works out. Nice. I played softball. I used to be a left-handed hitter. And I could hit pretty good when I was, uh, we played church league softball. And uh, I was actually the number three hitter on the team. Had a pretty good batting average. I could hit a ball. Nice. baby doll there we go all right very nice okay the last one for this section, this sticker rail. Last one, and we'll be done. All right. That happened. You get to see me driving on again. Wasn't quite close enough. There we go. All right. Well, that's a beautiful thing we just did. <laughs> There's how they go up under there on the uh, gate side or the field side, I mean. Okay. I wanted to thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate you guys showing up today and checking things out. Um, another thing I wanted to tell you, that uh, they do make machines called anchor machines. I'll put them on, and they will also come along and um, push them back against the tie. And I have requested in the past, that uh, several times, that we try to get an anchor machine in here and get more anchors on our rails. Uh, Anchors are a very important uh, part of the track structure. Uh, they do a very important job. And uh, we are lacking in anchors, especially on our bridge and tunnel approaches. So uh, hopefully we'll get a machine in here at some point in time. Um, they're not readily available. I've been told the Frontier Railroad has one. 
and it is currently up in Massachusetts and they have a huge job up there for Vermont Railway. Uh, so when that job's going to be done, I don't know. I mean, it's just a tremendous job uh, that they have up there. Big, uh, a lot of grant money and uh, pays really well. So hopefully, maybe we can get an anchor machine in here when uh, they get that job completed. We'll see. And I will certainly keep you posted because that'll be a cool video. <laughs> Thank you again very much for watching. I hope you have a really good day. And uh, we, really, guys, we, uh, we really appreciate you guys. We really do. Happy rails to you, my friend. Until we meet again. Now I got to get cleared up because the uh, train's just about dumped off and I got to truck travel a mile and a half to get up there, get, get cleared up. All right.